This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. to go out to Massachusetts or up to Massachusetts uh, sideways to I know it's north yeah and uh, uh, talk to St- Stephen Kravitz how you doing folks how are you, Do you I'm like- good I'm watching the Olympics are you I'm avoiding them why uh, I'm I don't know I you know what's bothering me I it always bothers me is when they start going We've won eight. China's won seven. You know, right. I mean, I don't like that. I think this is a world getting together to compete with each other in harmony. Right. And all of a sudden, you're making it into a, they didn't do as well as we did. Right. A competition. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is a competition. Absolutely. For the most part, although, what is the biggest competition? The biggest competition is really a person against their own best. Right. You right, know? right, right. Uh, and it really doesn't matter whether you get gold or silver or bronze, but your desire is to beat yourself, not to right. beat somebody else. Right. And the only sports in which you beat somebody else is maybe in swimming and in running, you know, in those things where there are multiple people participating at the same right. time. But, you know. See, I, love, I love all that, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, what I love it? the swimming. I love the diving. I I even watch fencing and boxing and judo and all the um non main sport events. Have you been watching lesbian softball? No, I haven't. <laughs> I swear, every woman playing softball looks like they're a lesbian. Well, there is that component. Hmm. Yeah. Now, you know the gymnast Simone Biles? Yeah, Simone Biles, yeah, she's out. Yeah, I don't know. She collapsed under the pressure. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how when she was younger you could survive that pressure. Right. But now you can't survive that pressure. It doesn't seem to make a hell of a lot of sense to me, you know. Right. Unless it could be that she's gotten a little older, she feels her body is changing. And there's a pressure upon her to do exactly what she did last time, which she'll never do again because she was a a little girl at the time. Right, right, right. Now, she's afraid to do some of the uh, tricks. She's afraid to do them? Yeah, she thinks she's going to get hurt. But, you know, I've seen her do them here in just, you know, in, in, in training. Right. And she does it all. Without right. any problem. So what? What? Right. What is different once she gets there? That's what some I don't psycho- get. Some, there's something going on psychologically. Yeah, yeah. She feels the weight of the world on her shoulders, and she's just a young woman. You know what I mean? It's a lot, a lot of pressure. Well, I wouldn't have gone back if I were her, and I'll tell you why. I, I think that even in just quitting now. Right. She has lowered her price when it comes to endorsements and everything else. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. she's ruined. Why go back and ruin your reputation? You know, especially well, when so- when you were going to be four years older. Now you're going to be five years older because they didn't hold them last year. Right, 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 right. Okay. So uh, you're, you're not in really the best shape in your life to do this. I mean, she's still... God, I mean, I've seen the stuff she does, uh, has just been doing recently in uh, showing what she can do. And she's amazing. She's amazing. She she defies gravity. And I think she could probably do that too, but I think psychologically it was just too much for her. She didn't want want that pressure. Right. That's Mm -hmm. like when I was a finalist in the competition and I came in fourth, I decided I'd never do it again. Oh, I wouldn't have done it in the first place. You know, I didn't want to be. A, I didn't want to be a judge. You know, 
Uh, I was a judge one year. Yeah, well, I they want they kept begging me every year, be a judge, be a judge, be a judge, and I went. I've told the story before. I went no because there's no way I can win by being a judge. Right. Right. Okay, number one, I'm having to go in and judge a bunch of friends. I mean, one year there was you that, go. Was it was it the year I did it? You, the, the year you were in there? I I. Eighty five. Huh. Nineteen eighty five. Yeah, I think that was maybe the year I did it. Who won? It was, Jim Mad. Oh, oh, I did it the year that Warren won. Oh, that was the next year. But you had Warren, and I I think Pearl was there. I mean, there were a whole bunch of people I liked. Right. You know, and to judge them was impossible. Right. And uh, then, uh, and I brought people along with me. I brought Shecky with me, my friend Shecky, and I brought my girlfriend at the time. Right. And I had them sitting on either side of me, and I said, look at what I score them. And if you feel that I'm being too giving to them because I know them, or if you feel, right. if you feel I'm not doing right by the particular act, let me know. Okay, right. I wanted them to be the ones watching out for my objectivity, and uh, and so that that you know I, I that night I think I can't remember who won the night I was there, but Warren came in second, and he came right. in second the next night. But they take an average between the two nights, and one guy came in first one night and third the second night, right, right, and the right. other one came in first the one night and third the second night. So guess who wins? Warren. There you go. All right. And now everybody is saying Alex Bennett fixed the comedy competition. Yeah, I said, right. And I, I went up to the people who were running the thing and said, see, this is why I didn't want to do it. Right. Okay. Right. Because there's no way anybody's going to think I'm going to be objective. Well, the Even thing if is, when, when we did it, it was the only competition in the in North America. Yeah. Now they're in every club on the planet. Yeah. Comedy competition. Well, also, I mean, let's face it. Most of the time, people who won the comedy competition never amounted to anything. Right. right you know, right, I mean, right. uh, uh, the first year the winner was Jim Farley. First right. year, beat out Robin. he beat out Robin Williams. Okay, right. where where's Jim Farley today, and what right, happened right. to Robin Williams? He was so good, he blew his brains out. You know, right? Like Sinbad won, and Ellen DeGeneres came in second. Yes, you know that is a prime example. Yeah, you know that's a very good example. I mean, it, to begin with, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again: the only competition in comedy is again against yourself and right. and you against the crowd right okay and uh if you come out with a standing ovation as an example you don't right. need to win a contest to tell you how good you are absolutely you know absolutely yeah and and uh i just found it i i find especially i find um uh, holding contests where art is concerned is wrong. I don't like the Oscars. I don't like the Emmys. I don't even like the uh, thing they're doing here with me and the, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Broadcast Hall of Fame because I, it's... Yeah, I voted for you. Yeah, but it's made into a contest. Right. And it shouldn't be. I mean, only one twenty-fifth of the vote uh, by the people goes towards my winning or losing the oh, rest. Is that of, right? Yeah, the rest is the nominating committee, of which there are twenty-four members. I think, like football or any of the sports, if you're nominated, that means you're in. It, well, it, it it just seems to me that what you should do, if you're going to have a Hall of Fame, is what they, they do it with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They just announce every year who's being put into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They That's don't right. say, everybody, let's vote, and let's have this group vote on them, and let's this. Right. There were, there's no vote. You, they just say, hey, you know, we were looking at a bunch of people, and these are the people whose work has endured over the years. Right. Okay, right. and right. Have, right. have given some kind of a contribution to the business. Uh, you know, so there shouldn't just be one winner. You know, I right. mean... I got to tell you, I'm uh, up against. I think, I think I'll lose. I think Sally Jesse Raphael will probably win because she's the most known. That's right. Of everybody. That's right. And and uh, quite frankly, I also know knew Sally quite well. 
She, right. I work with her at WMCA, and uh, I've interviewed her on several occasions, and I like the woman. She's a nice lady. Right. Okay? And who's had some very sad moments in her life. I think her son or somebody committed suicide. I mean, it, it, it just... She, I would like... If, if she wins it, I will not feel bad. If any right. of those other douchebags win, I will. Right. You know, I mean, Larry Elder, guys... Right, we for, talked about that last week. Yeah, yeah. And these guys in Philadelphia, I never heard of them. Right. You know, uh, so if I... I don't think you get enough, Alex, I don't think you get enough credit for being the catalyst of the comedy boom of the 80s. Well, that nobody else, nobody does give nobody gives me credit for that. I was talking about this last night on the show, is that I can claim a lot of firsts. Okay, right. things I did first. I, I did the first podcast. Okay, is that right? Oh yeah, and I can prove it. I've got the the vid, the audio program the program that shows that I did it. Right. And it's dated. Okay. Oh really? Yeah, it's a program that delivered the the show to your computer every day. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, you think I'm getting credit for credit credit for that? No. Some other guy, maybe two years later, who did it. Oh yeah, no, he's the one that did it. Uh, and I'm going, you know, come on, just right. You know, because I didn't call it podcast. God, I'm sorry, I didn't come up with the term. You know? Right, 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 right. You know, but all I'm saying is, you don't want to be the first. Be the second. Then everybody right, will right. everybody will give you credit for it. You in know, most cases, that's right. If I was the first at what I did, uh, the guy who gets all the credit for being the second who did what I did is Howard Stern. That's you know, right. You know, so I mean, I, 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 I don't think a bunch of firsts is that good. A right. bunch of seconds, hey, yeah, that'll put you in the money. That's so right. it, it, and and I, I prove my point now. Going back to Warren Thomas, he never came in first. He came right. in second every night and won. Right, 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 right. Right. So, uh, uh, always be second. That's my that's my advice to the young kids out there. Don't, <laughs> don't ever try to be the first on your block. Yeah. Well, the first one in any groundbreaking medium. Yeah. Never gets the credit. It's always the one, the second one. Well, you know, it's very interesting. They always talk about all these, uh, the, you know, the Me Too movement and so on. Oh, you know, we need more women working in Hollywood in, in big positions and so on. Right. Women have always been forgotten in movies. When movies first started, do you know who wrote most of the pictures? Women. Women. Right. It, it wasn't until sound came in and the big uh, moguls came into play that we started to see less and less women working. I mean, there were even women directors <clears throat> in silent films. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it wasn't until sound came in that we didn't see any more women directors. It wasn't until until uh, an actress who doesn't really get the credit she should, Ida Lupino, came along. And Ida, that now? Ida Lupino, she was married to Howard Duff, another, uh, another actor, and, right. and she was a, she started directing movies. She was the only female movie director back in the 50s. Is that and, right? And when, when it was hard for her to get, do movies, she did, she directed TV. I mean, she was a major director. Nobody thinks of having a Lapino Award or something right. like that for the work that this woman did. She broke the, the, the you know, the glass ceiling when it came right. to directing. Um, again, you know, then they, but uh, as time has gone on, now if you look at TV, want to know where women are very big in TV now? Just check the directing credit on any right. show, on any right, drama, right, right. especially dramatic shows. They're all, most of them are women. That's right. Yeah. So don't gripe that there aren't enough women working as directors in Hollywood. You know? Right. I would say if you looked at the roles of the DGA there are there I won't, won't say there are over 50 percent women but I'd say there's something like 30 or 40 percent easily yeah. easily. easily yeah easily have you ever worked yeah. with a female director no no because I, I never worked with a director who actually gave me directions what do you mean he didn't say a little more emotion. Well, side, you said do, do a little bit more of this or do a little bit more of that or do less of this. Really? 
Yeah. Uh, Clint didn't even do that? No. Clint, in, in fact, Clint, when we, uh, they were supposed to use stuntmen for the uh, car chase scene. Yeah. And Clint said, these guys are having such a good time, let them do it. So we did all our own stunts. Oh. Which was, which was very cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, you liked being in that car with that baseball bat hanging out the window. Yes, sir. Yeah. I got it. I, I was thrilled to death to do it. Really? I'd be peeing my pants. No. We were going about 50 miles an hour. Did they, they really wanted to have a stuntman do that for you, right? Right. They wanted they, the, the three of us in the car, they wanted to put stuntmen in. And if you guys, any one of you guys said, yeah, I don't want to do it, they would have just right. done it. But they right, said, right, long, right. he just said, as long as you're having fun, you do it. Right, 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 right. These guys are having a ball. Let them do it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that well, was a great experience. I mean, there are a lot of directors in Hollywood who do give direction or do motivate the actor. I can't remember right. who it was, but there was one director, and I, I'm trying to remember who it was, and I can't remember, who would always go up to a, an actor and whisper in their ear. And then he'd back off, and the actor would go to work and do this incredible job. Right. Because he knew something psychological to say to that guy to get him motivated. Right. Uh, and and that's really, people don't understand the director, a job of a director isn't to say, move the camera here, move the camera there. He certainly can say that, but that's usually the job of the cinematographer. Okay. Right. His job is to direct the actors, to give them their motivation, to bring out now, the they, performance. I, I, I tell you, I tell you, there was one director. Yeah. When I did the hot chick, that's like and a get, dumbass comedy for Christ's right, sake. Right, and I get beat up in the uh, alley, and they used a stunt man to, to take the face punches, and then I got down on the ground, and she's, I got a piece of cardboard. That's all I have for protection. And this woman is kicking me as hard as she can, and the only direction I heard was kick him harder. <laughs> did you? Did that's you, it. That's my entire movie career. Did you get, did, really? No, 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 no. That was a... I mean, that, that's where I, I heard direction. Yeah, that was a movie... Behind where, the camera. That was a movie with, what's his name? Um, my old friend. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Right. Uh, who came in fifth in the comedy competition the year that I was... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you think? Have you been paying any attention to Rob lately? I'm still in touch with Rob. Yeah, but the, the politically, he is just out there. Right. Uh, I mean, it's don't not... Discuss it. What? He's gone Republican. It, he hasn't gone Republican. He's gone wacko. <laughs> no, I mean, and I, I like him. You know, oh, I'm yeah. good friends with him. I talked with him a couple of years ago, and he was... We had the best time, you know. I like him. Right. But man, then I hear him with this stuff about don't get vaccinated and it's it, it, but, 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 and I'm going, Rob, you know, come on. Right. I want to just I wish I were near him so I could shake him by the collar and go just right. shape up, you know. You don't think the you, whole vaccine is a hoax. Yeah, the whole vaccine is a hoax. Right. Uh and and uh I I the just the whole virus, the whole virus is a uh, is a hoax. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, until you until they get it, then they wind up in the hospital on their deathbed and say, "Can I have the vaccination now?" Right, 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 right. Or they all speak of regretting not getting the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, I wish I had gotten the vaccine. Well, yeah. Now that you're sick, you fucking it, idiot. It, you didn't have to get to this point. Right. It was a simple little needle in your arm. You hardly feel. Right. You know. Uh, I mean, I wish I could tell people that, oh, it hurts a little because some shots hurt more than others because of the viscosity of the shot or something, right. the density of the shot. This right. shot, you don't feel a thing. No. You know, the needle is so good that they don't even have to push it into you. They just go right. boom, and it just sinks into you. Right, 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 and then right, they, right. Then they, they shoot it, and you don't feel the stuff going in. I'll tell you, uh, some... Some flu shots every year. One year is worse than the other. Okay. okay. You know, 
uh, they, they do have varying degrees of this one hurts, this one doesn't hurt. Right. Uh, if you go and get a, uh, oh, I don't know, a, a, any one of a number of other shots, like a pneumonia shot, it hurts a little more than the other shots hurt. Mm -hmm. This thing doesn't even hurt. No. You know. You, right, you don't even know it happened. You almost say, okay, I'm ready. And then, well, right. I did it already. You know? Right, 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 right. As, right. as they're putting the bandage over it, for what reason, I have absolutely no idea. They, they, well, uh, in case they hit a vein and some blood comes well, out. But they can see if there's blood coming out. Right. But though they don't, they, they every time they ever put a, 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 a Band-Aid on me, it's like a day later when I decide to take a shower, they go, what's that? Right. <laughs> I still right. got it on me. You know, I've done. I've done exactly the same thing. I did something last night, and I'm. Uh, I want to make sure you've done it and other people do. It. We went out to dinner, so I put on both my tennis shoes. As I'm sneakers, as I'm walking out, as I'm down in the lobby, and it's too late to go back upstairs because the car is waiting. I notice that I put on two different sneakers. Have you ever I think done we've that? We've all done that, huh? I think we've all done that. Really? Well, this there was, was a, a time I did it on purpose. Oh, okay. But this was, this wasn't on purpose. This was I just you know and I and when that happens and you're older, you really get to feel bad about it because you think you're losing it. Right, 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 right. You know. And do I have you know the onset of Alzheimer's? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, one of the signs of Alzheimer's is you put on two different sneakers. Oh, right. God. Right, 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 right. You know, but I usually always make sure. I thought I made sure yesterday, you know. Uh, but I, I have a uh, cleaning woman, and when she comes in, she puts my all my sneakers under a chest, okay? Right. And, uh, I, and, and really, I don't need the other ones. They can be put away somewhere and not even in, the, in play, but... You know, because you wear you wear just one pair, right? I wear just one pair, right? Right. You know, no, I wear two pair at a time. There you <laughs> go. I like yeah. to see that. So, what's new with you up there? We got a few minutes left here. What's new? Anything? Well, I'm going to a minor league baseball game on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. And they're doing some filming around, so that's pretty exciting. And you know. Let's see if I can get in there somehow. Oh, okay. All right. You know? I signed up for this thing called uh, the uh, uh, Casting Network. Right. Down here. And they sent I'm me... Aware, th I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with it. This is for extras. Right. You know? And I get about 20 of these things a day. And I think if I really wanted to do this as a full-time right. job... I could probably make about a uh, about a thousand a week. I could do about five jobs a week. There, there are none of those. You know, and they no. just say people over, a, you know, who are so and so within my age range, and right. you know, look like I do, and we just need you for a crowd scene. Right, 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 right. One hundred eighty-two dollars, SAG after. You know? Right. So I figure, hey, I, the thing is, you're not treated real well on the set. No, I don't care. You know, what do I? I got nothing else to do. Right. But but the trouble is that every one of them is asking for a COVID test. Oh, you, really? Yeah, so you have to get a COVID test the day before. You don't get paid for taking out time to do that. Right, right, they, right, right. You know, they should be. They should give COVID tests right on the set. They've they've got instantaneous results. That's they, right. You know, they can get them back within fifteen minutes. They should do them on set. I wonder if you need you, you know you need COVID results. You need a COVID test. Yeah. This home COVID test now. I wonder if that would count. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, they 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 want, uh, you know, the official. The, the the official one, yeah. But right. I mean, I I you know I and I I've, I've been vaccinated. That should be yeah. a, that should be enough for them. They should say right. if you aren't vaccinated, be tested. But right. no, they want everybody tested. So that's the only thing that holds me back is because I just don't want to take two days out to do a one day job. Right, right, right. But right. I've never done any. Uh, extra work and you know and some of it is kind of primary extra work too it's right. uh, you know so uh, you know it, it's it's a question of uh, when you know and 
but anyway, I I I had my. I'm I'm th- I've been thinking about it, but so you're gonna go see if you can get some work out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why, why not? not? Yeah. You're good, and you're a type. Right. Yeah. As as Rick Reynolds once said to me, "You're a you're an odd looking human being." <laughs> hey, listen. Good talking to you again. It always is. I enjoy what I call Wednesdays with uh, with right. with Stephen, uh, and uh, have a nice week. Hope maybe right. you get some work. That would be nice. That'd be great. Yeah. And and thank you, Stephen. Wave goodbye. I'll wave goodbye at you as well. See you later. Bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey there, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Uh, it's Alex and uh, uh, I'm Stephen Kravitz. We like Stephen a lot. Um, yeah, I really didn't feel like doing a show tonight because I've been today again. We're talking with our lawyers and uh, our lawyer, and uh, he's uh, you know it, where before in the very beginning he was like, "Oh, gung ho! Oh, you got a real case here!" Blah 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 blah. Well, a hundred thousand dollars later, he's saying, "Well, you know, you." You didn't save any money in the past with the thing and the hand, and you might owe two hundred thousand dollars, which I don't have. Uh, and uh, I mean, I have it, but you know, I was planning on having some money for my old age. Anyway, it's just I feel that I've been screwed by everybody. I got screwed by the guy that rented this apartment. We're getting screwed by the lawyers. We're getting screwed by the courts. I mean, everybody's screwing us. And uh, we've just been given, I think, some bad advice. And uh, I, I would have never, you know, if in the beginning they had said to us, well, there's a little chance you might be able to get something out of this. You know, you might be able to do all kinds of things, you know, whatever. Uh, but we don't know for sure, you know. Then I would have gone, uh, okay, all right. You know, well, we'll, we'll decide whether we want to pursue it or we want to just cut bait and go somewhere else uh, but we were told oh this is a slam dunk you listen this guy has ripped you off and uh, a hundred thousand dollars later we're being told well it's not as a slam dunk as you thought it was what I thought you you told us it was slam dunk okay so uh, Today, you know, I talked to him, and he's he's going well. You know, you could owe you could owe two hundred thousand dollars. You know, you, you could owe this, but we think we can get you out of that, and we think we can negotiate this, and we can negotiate that, but we don't know if you can or you can't or whatever. And uh, I'm just I'm so depressed by the whole thing. I just want nothing to do with it anymore. Just go to court, do what you're going to do, do it without me, okay. Unless you need me at some point to testify. See, at, th- at this point, they're just trying to negotiate a way out, okay? And uh, there, it, 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 but if, if, if you have to put me up on the stand, I will do the best acting job I've ever done in my life. And uh, that's fine. But otherwise, leave me alone. I want nothing to do with this. I don't, just let me know if I have to get out of this apartment, okay? And when I do, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I got to find some place that's large enough to put all the stuff we've amassed in this place uh, somewhere else. Uh, and I'm not putting it in storage because once once things see once things go into storage, they never come out of storage. All right. And uh, if I ever if I die and I come back as anything, I want to come back as a guy that owns storage units. Okay because it's the biggest racket in the world. I mean, listen, Damien, who does a show here, knows exactly what I'm talking about. People put stuff in storage because they temporarily, because they're planning on either moving somewhere else or whatever, and then they never get that out of storage. I've still got stuff that's been in storage for the last 20 years in California. Okay, all right? Now, how much money have I paid over that time in storage? So if I ever, I ever come back and I want a slam dunk business I'm buying all these places where I can put up storage units 
and then people come in and they never leave right and then if they don't leave, if they do leave and they don't pay you you got their you've got their stuff okay so it's a great business that and lawyers do you know there are three sets of lawyers in this case we're involved in this case has been going on for eight years so for eight years three lawyers have been making money now I know we put out almost a hundred thousand dollars and I would imagine that the other lawyers don't come cheap either so they come uh, at about another a uh, uh, hundred thousand each so the lawyers here after it's all over after you know we go like that and the dust clears and uh, somebody gets screwed everybody gets screwed I mean I think everybody in this case one way or another is gonna wind up getting screwed uh, uh, the, the lawyers still they're not the ones that get screwed they don't get screwed at all right so uh, that's uh, that's the um, uh, you know that's what that's all about but anyway it doesn't appear that we have very very many people here ready to talk and uh, uh, I didn't really want to do a show tonight anyway so if we don't get a few more I'm gonna gonna uh, say hasta la vista but let's say hello to the people that are here okay let's bring them in uh, let me see here oops I didn't uh, what I didn't do is I should have admitted them before I did that little thing admit all there we go there we go they're going to go and they're going to go damp it dip it dip it there we go okay there we are all right okay uh, yeah all right uh, so let me see here is uh, an sidekick Rocky okay we got that you're gonna see that uh, hello uh, uh, Vernon and hello uh, trucker Steve how you feeling trucker Steve we always have to ask you that question whenever we start off one of these little things you know I'm fine yeah you're fine uh, and and uh, uh, are you getting used to going to your uh, uh, your what do you call it your uh, 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 what do they call that again I forgot dialysis. dialysis are you used to it now are you getting used yeah to it? yeah did one this morning yeah you wish it weren't as boring right no it's not bad I got TV to watch when they do it yeah yeah so how long what do, do, do they have any possibilities that you're gonna have a uh, um, uh, uh, a chance at a you know thing of, of what do you call it a uh, transplant soon or uh, yeah, I don't know when exactly, but it could be, you know, maybe another six months. Who knows? Now, they don't ever transplant two of them, right? They only transplant one, right? No, you only need one, I think. You only need one. That's because uh, the other person who you get it from only needs one, too, and that's why you get one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I weren't so old, I might consider giving you my kidney, you know. After all, I've given lawyers my lung. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> what the hell? You know, it really, it's... You sure, you sure it wasn't an arm and a leg? No, no, and I don't want to talk too much about it because then it'll get back to everybody that I'm really pissed at the whole thing. But I've just, uh, I've gotten to the point where I've given up. I just give up, you know. Uh, uh, it, I just, I just, I just, uh, I've given up all hope, <laughs> all right? You know. It went from everybody, all these lawyers going, ah, it's a slam dunk to having no hope at all, you know, so it's, it's strange. It's really strange. I hope we get to stay here. I hope I don't have to move. I don't want to move, not at this age, and I don't know where we'd move, you know. What I'm suggesting is that she sell her apartment and that we move upstate and get a house, you know, just move into a house and spend the rest of our lives living in the country, but that would drive her nuts. It wouldn't drive me nuts, though. And I could have long my little... As, my little as long as they have Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, well, as long as they have Wi-Fi, I can have my little mountain studio up there and, you know, do what I got to do. Probably wouldn't be as great as I have now, for, you know, throughput, but what the hell, you know. Plus, then you also got... Uh, you get... Uh, 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 Elon Musk has got this uh, Skynet or whatever he's setting up. I can't remember what it's called. And uh, that that may be something in the future that you could it, do it with sending stuff both ways. So who knows? You know, 
It's it's kind of a Skype Wi-Fi is what it is. Uh, well, you know the inter- the Senate uh, approved that in- uh, internet uh, uh, what do you call it? infrastructure bill today, sixty-seven to thirty-two, yeah. just to start writing the measure. Just to start writing the measure. So that means they agreed, we don't, they agreed on the framework. So that's not going to happen now for another twenty years, right? It's just they're going to start. They've agreed to start talking about it. Supposedly, supposedly they're in the writing the bill stage, but they've agreed it, agreed to the outline. To the outline, I see. What's going to be included? What's not they, going to be included? They've agreed to the ruled paper that it's going to be written on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, everything. You know, the problem is, this is a country, and I I don't want to sound like I'm mad at lawyers today, but this is a country where the entire thing has been predicated on a set of rules by lawyers, you know? And so we never get anything really done because they want to take as much time as possible to play out the clock. Does that make sense? Well, my wife was a lawyer, so I'm a little partial. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to upset you with that, then. Or, or. Well, no. Th- there's all. There's all kinds of jokes. Like when she first became a lawyer, mm-hmm. she was the first woman, by the way, first woman assistant U.S. attorney for the Western District of Kentucky. Oh, wow. And she uh, got all the lawyer jokes too. One of which I thought was always funny, and that is, you know, what they call three thousand lawyers on the bottom of the ocean. Uh, a beginning. A good start. A good yeah. start. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that there are a lot of lawyer jokes, but that's probably the major lawyer joke. That's yeah. that's the go-to lawyer joke. Hey, look, I've got my green putty tonight that I'm using for my for my arthritis, and look, it's invisible. Got my glove on too. Yeah, it's invisible. Look at that. See, look, see. <laughs> You got a hole in your face. Yeah, yeah. I got a hole in my head. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, let me see here. Tony Magno is uh, entering the room. Hello, Tony. Is he here? Tony, push your button. There we go. Almost. There we go. There's Tony. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Uh, how you doing tonight, Tony? Bad day. Huh? I had a bad day. You had a bad day? Why? They did my mom's stone, but they left a letter out. What? <laughs> I'm joking. I wanted to get you to laugh because you were so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be like that. I heard the lawyers. I figured. Let me try. <laughs> no, actually, I went to the cemetery to put flowers down, and they still didn't put the thing in. They said August, so I wasn't surprised. Yeah, yeah. Well, what takes them so long? It's they're backed up because of COVID. You know the place is right across the street, so I went across. I, I knew the ladies didn't have any. Well, she be says, careful the people who run. They're so behind because of COVID. With all the, well, they have so many yeah. orders. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, but, but, be, but be careful because those people who make the tombstone are real chislers. Really? But that doesn't. Oh, let me let me try that again on you, Tony. They're real chislers. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hopefully, August. Explain the joke. They got a chisel on the Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I says, Ma, it's coming soon. I don't know when. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But. We used to tell uh, uh, Alan that if you have to explain the joke, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, exactly. Well, with Tony, you have to explain them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> I'm in another world sometimes. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh, my hand. I've got a hole oh. in it. Look at that hole in my hand. Uh, yeah, look, you you mentioned the lawyers, right? What? The, right, the founder. I was watching, I'm reading a book on Lincoln. They were all lawyers, pretty much. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, tr- the thing is that, you know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to be a lawyer. It's not my idea of a good time. But it, 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 there's no losing it being a lawyer. No. You know? Uh, I mean, uh, when I think about the amount of money that the lawyers have made off this stupid little case, and, you know, all the idiots that keep fighting it, this one guy, the one guy, uh, keeps fighting it and keeps throwing monkey wrenches into it, and he keeps 
the bill gets higher and higher and higher. And then I just found out uh, today he didn't even hasn't even paid his lawyer. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, in, in a right. long time, I don't know why his lawyer still sticks around. <laughs> but you know, if I if I didn't have to pay my lawyer, I take as much time as I possibly could. I play out the clock as long as possible till I drove everybody else broke. You know, so it's, it's it's ridiculous. It's all ridiculous, and I'm tired of it. I'm exhausted from it, and I just you know I'll go get myself a little hovel downtown, one one a studio apartment where I'll put all this equipment, and then I'll find move into another apartment <laughs> where I can live. You know, but uh, who knows? I mean, I'm I th I always think the worst. Mm -hmm. I'm like that too. I always think negative stuff. You got to think positive. Yeah. Well, I always think. You know, Alex, the country sounds nice. I would like to get out of Queens. The country sounds nice yeah. out of the boroughs. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. Um, uh, the reason I am, uh, 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 I always think for the worst, is that I'm a control freak. I was told that by uh, who was the guy who wrote Swimming to Cambodia? I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, oh God, he died. Committed suicide. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was interviewing him, and I said, uh, you know, we were talking about how he always, before he went on a trip, he would always think about the the worst things that could happen before he went on the trip, like all the things that could fuck up on that trip. So that you know, and I said, why do you do that? Because I do the same thing. And he said, you know why we do it? Because we're control freaks that we want to think for the worst so that when it does happen we go well I was ready for it but if it doesn't happen we go Whew. you know but we always think about the worst possible outcome in any situation and I've done that pretty much all my life you know Spalding Gray Spalding Gray Spalding Gray right Okay. You want to laugh, Alex? I was looking on YouTube before I did a search for your old radio shows, mm -hmm. and I was listening to a show somebody put up on August 3rd, 1976. Your air conditioner went off. It was like a heat wave. You were taking calls. Where was this? WPLG. I was just listening to the first 15, 20 minutes. Your air conditioner was out in your building. You had central air, and you had people... Oh, oh yeah, were, wait, it's central air in the studio building. The building the studio. No, you say your apartment had no air. Oh, no, One no, of the no, hottest no, days in the no, summer. No, you I, played I, the, uh, I, I never had air conditioning in those apartments. It, it was never I guess air conditioned. Maybe it was in the place then. Maybe it was in the work. Uh, maybe it was where we were working. Yeah. Because I never, my apartment house never had any air conditioning. And we didn't put oh. any in. Uh, the reason was is that uh, in San Francisco, they, they did, never built apartments with air conditioning. They built them with, uh, you know, windows that opened up, you know, and the breeze, air, air going through the apartments and so on and so forth. Uh, do you have air conditioning in your apartment uh, there, John? No. See? Exactly no. that reason. Oh, wow. You never need it. It's always cold in San Francisco. San Francisco is the world's only mm -hmm. air-conditioned city. Yeah. Yeah. I only went there once, but you were right. I, I went to the baseball game that night, and when we I was leaving with shorts. And the guy at the door said, the doorman goes, you better go back upstairs. I went down the block. I said, shit, it's cold. Oh, goes, so oh, you got to put oh, your jeans on. I never went in shorts again the whole oh, day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, San, San Francisco is a very cold town. Yeah, it was It was like it was, it was. like 65 today in the daytime. Two hours later, when the sun goes down, it feels like it's 50 degrees colder. Well, I, used to I say, really like the weather. I used to say it was the wor it's the world's only air-conditioned city, you know. Yeah. Uh, so whatever so anyway uh, uh, so what's happening down your neck of the woods there Vernon I understand Spock Spock Spock, Spock, Spock Scott Boddicker is in your neck of the woods oh really he didn't check in with me no he's down he supposedly <laughs> went to Kentucky really yeah. well Mitch McConnell voted for that uh, infrastructure deal today so he can get his Spence Prince bridge at Covington but uh, crosses Cincinnati to Covington Kentucky what bridge the Brent Spence Bridge. It's the I-75 double-decker bridge. Say that That's three times. about time. 55 years old or something like say that. Say that three times fast. What is it? Yeah. Br uh, Brent Spence. Brent Spence. Yep. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah. You know, it's named after Mr. Brent and Mr. Spence. Oh, really? No, I don't no, know. No, it's a guy named Brent Spence. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. But it's a double-decker bridge, you know, and, and you, the northbound traffic goes uh, underneath and the southbound traffic comes across the top. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. We, right. we have the Willie Brown Bridge now. You do? The Bay Bridge. They changed the name to the <laughs> Willie Brown Bridge. Which bridge? The Bay Bridge. Has been renamed the Willie Brown Bridge? Yeah, I think so. For what mm. goddamn reason? I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I, I think only on the, uh, the uh, from Oakland to Treasure Island side, not from SF to Treasure Island. You know, you know what's ridiculous about that? I thought it, 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 naming bridges after people who are still alive is a little ridiculous, you yeah. know? Koch got it when he died in Cuomo, remember? Yeah, but I mean, they didn't name it a Koch gone. bridge until, you know. You really have to be dead. You don't want to, I mean. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know. I, I mean, you see our mayor, Alex? He's given $100 C-notes if they get the shot Friday. What? Yeah. Why did, I, why, did, why did I get my shot so early? Why didn't I wait? Can't we get back pay for the shot? Yeah, we should all get it retroactively. Yeah, I got my shot. And he called it a scene order. I was listening to 1010 Wins. My brother's listening to this schmuck on the radio. Wait a moment. I said, where's... You get a scene of That should put them over the edge. Wait Come I on, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. I swear to God, I'm not lying about it. I thought he was joking with me. He Google it. Wait a minute. NY Mayor... The uh, I'm going to tell Shecky. Shecky's probably vomiting. Oh, he hates guy. de Blasio. I mean him hate him with a passion. C-note. And he, he called it a C-note. <laughs> what is he, a drug dealer? <laughs> Come on. C-note. List of yeah. mayors in New York City. No, New York City mayoral election. No, it doesn't say anything here. It really doesn't. Hold on. Uh, uh, payment. Payment for vaccine. I think he's starting it Friday. I I don't believe it. I I'm, I swear my mother's grave. I went live it. I thought my brother was bullshitting me when he said it. I said you got New joking. York City will pay people a hundred dollars to get yeah. COVID vaccine. I almost dropped my dinner in the kitchen. I was cooking. I says this son of a bitch. I said I don't believe this fuck. Our money, Alex. You don't even have the money. Feed the fucking boy. You gotta you gotta pay him to take a shot. Let me see here. New York City offers a hundred dollars cash incentive to get COVID. Uh, vaccine, but holds off on indoor mask mandate. <laughs> <laughs> what a, so fucking bizarre, world. Yeah. Can yeah. you believe this? We don't even have the money. New York's fucking getting bailouts, and he's begging them to take a shot. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to see, you know, if maybe it was like $100. Uh, they mailed them a debit card, I think, Alex, and they mail or something. Good luck trying to get that money. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, the uh, debit cards, I got, I got, well, you know something? I got um, uh, uh, a COVID test, mm -hmm. and they asked me a whole bunch of questions. Stuff took about a half hour, a bunch oh, of questions, wow. things like that, and they gave me a $50 debit card. Oh, really? Yeah, in fact, I still got it here. I want to get $100 for this shot. I, I put we it, should get it automatically because we got it already. Huh? We you know, I, I mean... We're, we're giving money out. It, I still can't get over. We're giving. We're begging them to say, "Here's some money to please take the vaccine." Yeah, when they're really doing something good for themselves, yeah. you know. I mean, I, I I find something. I don't understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I find. Something and he's like, "That would give him an incentive." Well, I find oh, something. Give I, money I find something wrong with that. You know. My wife and I can get fifty dollars each just for sending in our vaccination certificate to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Well, oh, really? well, but you see, oh, but yeah, you, that, I can understand because you took the shot already, and they probably, you know, maybe they want to use it for whatever data they want or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, also, it, it they're they're a, it, <clears throat> it, it's to their advantage for you to get exactly. the COVID shot rather than for them to have to pay your hospital bills as you lie in, exactly. in the hospital yeah, with important. COVID. It's a so, big so what they're doing them. is they what they're taking it off of your uh, off of your monthly bill or something or. What? No, they're no. They'll send a debit card like you were talking about. Oh, a debit about. card. Okay. Well, you know, 
Yeah. You know Plus, our you governor. The, Alex, our you want to continue the mayor no, saying? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ver, 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 Vernon's talking. Yes. So our, our governor's having three different drawings. I, I, I didn't win the first two, but there's a third drawing coming up for a million dollars. And all you had to do was submit your uh, proof of vaccination to enter that. Oh, boy. You know, I, 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 people just don't know what's good for them, do they? No. You know, they're such babies, they have to be given the incentive mm -hmm. in the form of, uh, of money. Hey, here's a lollipop. Huh? Yeah. Here's a I, lollipop. I yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> ridiculous. Just ridiculous. You know. And the sad part is we, New York, is pretty much on the balls of their ass. We're getting bailout money, and he's just giving money out that's not even his. Yeah, well, he's not going to be mayor in about another couple of months, so he doesn't give a crap. I can't wait for him to go. Really. Yeah, well, you know. You know what he, I could see him saying, Alex, and when he said, you get $100, and if you're Irish, you can use that for your whiskey. If you're Italian, you, you can buy your gravy. I mean, come on. He, I think he's he's a son of a bitch, really. I mean, he, when my brother told me, I thought he was joking. We were to put a laugh on me because, you know, I went to the cemetery. I said, you, are you joking? He said, I swear, I'm not joking. And then I put it on the radio when I was cooking. I said, I got to tell Alex this. I said, you know, well, no, the best way to, you know, number one, there are a couple of ways to get people to get the, the, the vaccine. The yeah. biggest incentive is they're going to save some money by doing it, you know. In other words, and they're going to be able to go places that they can't normally go. Like, don't let them into the baseball game if they don't mm -hmm. have a shot. Yeah, I just went to the game. You know, do, in other words, put them on <clears throat> the outskirts of society for not doing it. Does that make sense, everybody? You know? For a lot of people... Well, I, I, think all, I think all teachers should be vaccinated, and if they don't get vaccinated, they should not be allowed in a classroom. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, and uh, 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 Cuomo said that if you're in a hospital, if you're a hospital worker, you have to have it. You have to have it. Or either that or every week you have to get a COVID test. Yeah. Uh, that's basically what Biden said about federal employees. Yeah, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be that lax. I wouldn't say I just say, hey, you know, if you don't get one, you can't come to work. If you can't come to work, we ain't paying you. You know, it, it, but they're afraid to say that they're afraid to do that. And I it may be difficult that. in some situations because as, especially like teachers, they have contracts with their union. Yeah, their union is strong. My sister's a teacher and you're right, Vernon, their union is very strong. They can't even fire the bad teachers. They put them in like a rubber room, she says. Some of them are like, it's like, forget it. Well, you know, some people do have religious. Yeah. Uh, my brother, somebody in my brother's work, his religion does not believe in vaccinations. Well, He's an Indian guy. Uh, uh, Indian guy? I mean, how would I call him, Alex? I don't know. Well, I don't know what kind of Indian you're referring to. Because with <laughs> you, it could be anybody. Say, no. <laughs> is, it woo, yeah. wait a minute, is it woo woo or Mumbai? Let's say a combination. I only met him once at my mom's funeral. He was nice enough to come. My brother introduced me. He said, oh, how you doing? I always hear a voice on the phone. Did, did, you, did you have coffee tonight? Actually, I'm drinking iced tea. It's got caffeine in it. Yeah. I got I some bourbon. You got, you got some, some bourbon. bourbon. See, sugar, he's got bourbon. He's from Kentucky, yeah, and therefore, he has bourbon. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do bourbon. Kentucky. Well, I live in Kentucky, so I got to drink bourbon, right? Yeah. If, I, if he gave me a zip of that, I'd fall asleep like a baby, probably. Because I don't drink like you, Alex. So any type of alcohol would put me out, probably. Jeff, did you have something you wanted to say? I guess I should. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I actually uh, got a test today mm -hmm. just to make sure that I'm uh, legal, healthy, and all of that. No, oh, I see. Because I went to a party mm -hmm. on Saturday, and there was about a hundred people there, <laughs> and nobody wore masks, mm -hmm. including yeah. myself. But anyway, well, we've become a little lax that way. But That's right. uh, uh, um, uh, we were supposed to go to court on on what is it, Monday? Uh, what do you call it? Um, on uh, Friday, and my attorney said that he doesn't feel comfortable with what's going on with COVID now, of going there to the court to the courthouse, 
He said, because, you know, we don't know who's been vaccinated and who hasn't been vaccinated, and we don't know what kind of environment we're getting into, and we could still catch it, you know? So he, he wants to do it all by phone. Oh, wow. Yeah, but since I've decided I'm not even going to be there, <laughs> you know, um, just call me and let me know when I have to move out, you know. Uh, you know, I heard Tony Fauci say, even if you've been vaccinated, you could be a carrier and a spreader of the Delta variant. Yeah. You know, here, that, this, I mentioned this last night, and I can bring it up again tonight, mainly because it's my <laughs> show, and I can bring up anything I want to. But, you know, I really think, and I have to agree to a certain extent with some people I heard on Fox today, that how are people going to feel good about getting the shot if the CDC doesn't even know what's going on? If every day they're, they're changing their information, they're not giving people the incentive that the, the, the science is perfect and good. And now I understand that it has to change because science has to keep up with what's happening. Got to keep up with current data. With the current data. But don't be so loosey-goosey with your data at, uh, at an early stage when you might have to pull back on it on a later stage because that only adds fuel to the fire of these people who are anti-vaxxers saying, see, look, the CDC, one day they tell you one thing, the next day they tell you something else. Now, I, uh, uh, I heard a fact on, on, not Fox, but one of the other stations, either Newsmax or uh, America One or whatever, and it was some guy doing this thing saying that 40% of all people who are now coming down with COVID have, have, the, have had the vaccine in California. No, no. Does, has no. anybody heard no. that? 40% yeah. of, the, of, the, of the infections in the country now are occurring in three states. Florida, right? Florida, Texas, Texas and Missouri. Yeah. That's it. Lowest okay. vaccination rate states. Lowest, well, no, Alabama's the lowest. But where did this guy come up with the statistic that 40% of Californians who now yeah. come down with COVID have he all... pulled it had, out of his ass, just I'm like they sure, always do. I'm yeah. sure. But, just like uh, uh, Tucker Carlson said that uh, the, uh, the January 6th insurrection was an inside job. The uh, FBI... Um, encouraged all those guys to do that oh okay yeah. that, they're seeing that on wow. on Tucker carlson i like what that officer on the testimony yesterday officer dunn he i that. liked his analogy he said number one if a hitman is hired the hitman when he's caught goes to jail but the guy that hired him also goes to jail yeah <laughs> so who hired the hitman on january yeah. 6th yeah well, you know, good luck with that one. I don't think we're ever going to see Donald Trump have to stand for his crime of, of uh, inciting a riot. I think they riot. should subpoena his ass on this on this select committee. I, I, and he'll I think, lie there, too. Yeah, John mm -hmm. he, may, he may ignore it, but they'll just add that to the list of the crap. After being impeached twice, he'll also be the only president to ignore a subpoena from Congress. And go down with a contempt of Congress citation. Can he? Can I, he? I agree with Alex. He, he'll never get. He'll never end up in jail. Can, can he still? Here's what I'm wondering. Can he say? Is still call? You know, still uh, call upon executive privilege to not testify? Nope. Or is that is that gone? No, nope. out of office. He's out of office. Nope. I mean, in other words. Couldn't he claim that he can't testify because he might say something that is classified? In, or incriminating. Well, but classified. Yeah, he, he, he couldn't do that. He could uh, take the fifth. Mm -hmm. Anybody can take the fifth, but... Right. Yeah. But, no, but, uh, he's, got, he's got such a big head, he wouldn't take the fifth. He'd, fuck, he, he'd yeah. think that he could outsmart everybody, and he would spill his guts and not look good but I, I think if he ever got indicted I think he'd split the country you know Russia will take him yeah, well, yeah. I, well, I, I heard an interesting analogy no, Russia recently. actually said they wouldn't really oh. yeah yeah I heard an interesting analogy recently that the mentality that we're dealing with right now all of these Trump supporters 
have actually been around in this country for a long time. About 30% of the colonies supported the king and did not want to you know, go along with the revolution. Yeah. During the Civil War, 30% of the country wanted to keep slavery and destroy the Union. Yeah. And now we've got 30% of the country saying that we don't want democracy, we want anarchy. Yep. Are you back in Kentucky? Yep. You're home. Oh, well, I've only been in Kentucky once and I couldn't yeah, get Mitch, any television Mitch, station. Mitch McConnell voted for the infrastructure today, but Rand Paul voted against it. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked it up. Okay. What, what is uh, wrong? Just... What is wrong? I mean, uh, uh, Mitch McConnell, what's wrong with Mitch McConnell? What's wrong with Rand Paul? I hate that guy. Uh, he's a fake. He's a fake ophthalmologist. Yeah, he's a wise guy. Hmm. Hey, did you hear? He's, uh, I can't. He's so he, fake. He didn't even join the professional organization that ophthalmologists uh, join really? after he's they get licensed. He did. He did not. He did not join that organization because he thought it was corrupt. So, so he formed his own organization. He formed his own. Yeah. By saying he's an ophthalmologist, are you saying that he is positive about everything? <laughs> oh no, that's an optimist excuse. Me. Optimist. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. He diagnoses myopia, or, or what's it called, hemeropia. hemeropia. That's where you—that's a cross between <laughs> nearsightedness and hemorrhoids. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Oh boy. You know. I mean, when he goes after Fauci, I just—I just—it's so much misinformation. It's so stupid. Well, he looks so oh, stupid too. I love it when Fauci put him down last week. Yeah. He said, "You don't know what the hell you're talking about, Senator." <laughs> I think I think it's gotten to the point where Fauci has just had enough with Rand Paul, you know. Oh, yeah. I, I'll I'll be nice for the first couple of visits, but now I'm not going to put up with this anymore, you know. And uh, it's almost as though Rand Paul likes getting beaten up, you know. But it, it was it was terrible. And then have you heard that that uh, Fauci? Uh, has a, a, I don't know if it's a Secret Service detail, but he has a detail of people, security, secu security yeah. people, uh, where he lives because he has had so many death threats. Now, yeah. think about this for a moment. Here's a guy who's a doctor who's trying to give you the best medical advice he knows how to give. He's your family doctor, he's your friendly local I family wish doctor. Anyway. Why would somebody threaten this man's life? I don't understand it. And he's been at his job for 40 years. He knows what he's talking about. Yes, yes. Absolutely. And you know what, Alex? The US, the U.S. Marshals are guarding him. Are they? Yeah. Secret Service like, only for the president and elected officials. Tony? Yeah, you know what I was going to say, Vern, too, and Alex, on Fauci, what I find amazing? And the guy's 80. I'm not saying he's old, because he's vibrant for 80. He could have walked away from his job 10, 15 years ago and oh, retired. Yeah. yeah. And he's had an accomplished, decorated life. And they're ripping a guy who's still trying to save lives. Like, he's, I put this on Trump trying to, I think, Alex, you think it's, this is Trump doing where he tells Rand Paul and then rip him apart, make me look like the good guy and him the bad guy still. Well, I don't know that, uh, that uh, Trump is giving him marching orders. And I'm wondering how much longer the Republicans are kind of going to be in Trump's camp. I think mm -hmm. they're probably getting sick of it. Well, he, he really took a loss on this infrastructure thing because he, uh, he came out against it today and yesterday. He was saying... All oh, those stupid Democrats are just a bunch of losers and blah, blah, blah. They shouldn't go for this infrastructure thing just because, you know, he knew he could never get he never got shit done. Well, know? he was he wasn't really president, you know, and, you know he had he had the uh, the House and the Senate for two years and he still couldn't. get I mean, the it, infrastructure it, uh, done. He, he he was he was into perks like crazy, you yeah. know, into the perks. I mean, well, he did have he did have an infrastructure week once a month. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 here, here's my question, though. Uh, like, for instance, I heard that he spent a fortune redecorating the White House. Yeah, yeah. you got to have those solid gold toilet seats. I mean, I, I don't understand why. You and know, Melania ruined the Rose Garden. She took out all the fucking Rose Gardens. Yeah, and now there's now it's carnations. Yeah, she but that she 
that had been in there since like the uh the right. Kennedy administration. Well, didn't somebody well, inform her there's a reason it's called the Rose Garden? Yeah, you're right. That is true. Now they got a bush. You have to explain <laughs> what that means to her. Yeah. yeah. It, she stripped it all out. Yeah. It's empty now. And she uh, and she almost wasn't the obnoxious. She wasn't the obnoxious one in the family. You no. Know? Yeah. Uh, but uh, here we go. We're, we're talking about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Numbers yeah. are going up again. No, they're mm -hmm. not. They're not? No, they're going down. Uh, you know. Well, I, what do you think about Mo Brooks? I, I saw today that the guy who started off the rally in front of the White House at 9 a.m. was Mo Brooks of Alabama. And he's the one yeah. who said it's time to take names and kick ass. Yeah. And then everybody else showed up. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, they, All they, the other speakers were after him. He was the first one at oh. the microphone. Oh. And it, it, we found out after the fact that the reason he was wearing that poncho was because he had a vest on and it was to hide the <laughs> the vest. Well, uh, is that the guy who the uh, uh, Justice Department has refused to defend yeah. in yeah. a lawsuit because yeah. their feeling was that he was, he claimed that he should be defended by the Justice Department because he was a member of the administration. No, and because he was doing his job. He was doing his job and they said your yeah. job was not they Anything. said you're on your own. When you're Justice doing Department it, said you're on your own. When you're doing a political <laughs> function, yeah, you're on your own. And it, so well, they not exactly. They they said, um, you know, uh, calling for an insurrection is not part of your job. <laughs> <laughs> but so what so what brought that, that about? Yeah, what brought that, that about? Is Cody had a vest wait, on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, Vern. yeah, he had a vest on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, the the reason the reason that the Justice Department got involved in it is that Eric Swalwell, of California, yeah, yeah. filed a lawsuit against him and the other speakers at the rally, and he was saying, you know, his defense was, well, I was just doing my job as a congressman. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, he he's suing Trump, Trump Jr., uh, Mo Brooks, uh, uh, fuck Giuliani, Obama. Giuliani. Trump, uh, Sounds like a great guy. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it. it but uh, um, you know, I, I saw that guy at that. What, what was the hat he was wearing? It was like a camo, camo hat or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It said "Made." I think it said "Make America Great" on it, but it was a camo hat. Oh wow! That guy's a goon. I wonder how much money goon. Trump made off of those fucking hats. <laughs> well, those bad too. Because I think he he trademarked them. You know? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's Except raising they're money. They're all made in China illegally. He, he's raising money mm -hmm. on these damn audits. He's stoking fear yeah, of, of the yeah. election, and, and and he's trying to and he's raising money on that's these audits, he, even though that's why he's not none get of that money, politics. none of that money that he's raising is being used to fund yeah. the audits. Of course not. Yeah. That's that's why he's not getting out of politics because it's just like a, a unlimited ticket for him to raise money and scam. Yeah, it's a cash cow. Well, you yeah. gotta you gotta realize that he is uh, he he kind of has had a what's the word I'm looking for? He's had a, a free pass for a while being president, yeah. and none of the people are coming after him for money he owes or anything like that. And he's really trying. He's one step ahead of people coming to get him on stuff. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. And it's not just the political stuff. It's not just like, the illegal stuff. It's just like that, loans. I mean, his company. He was. He was. I would be surprised if he could come up with a couple of hundred thousand dollars right now. Well, you know? he's trying to offload the post office hotel because that's losing money. And and all those golf courses, they're all losing money. You know, golf courses. Well, no, they were weren't. I don't money. think they were losing money until uh, he ran for president and became such a disgusting human being that nobody yeah, wanted yeah. to stay at those hotels. I mean, last oh. night I I had dinner at at the, the Trump. Uh, uh, what what's the I thought hotel? that was Tuesday night. At Times Square. No, it was last night. Trump He's always been Trump? a disgusting human being, but now Trump everybody knows it. And that now last night knows. was Tuesday night. Last Where, night at, was at Tuesday. Trump Tower? Yeah. What? Wait, wait, at Trump Tower? No, it wasn't Trump Tower. It was Trump, uh, the Trump, uh, the one in... Trump in, Soho? In, in, no, the one in, in Columbus Circle. 
um, uh, the Trump International or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but there's a restaurant that's in there. Is any good? Oh, very yes. good. Yeah, yeah, it's a world class restaurant. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Trump, and Trump didn't go out and say, I'm going to start a restaurant here. No, this was. Uh, uh, this was a. He, he bought the Plaza Hotel, right? And then he sold it and lost a lot of money on it, right? Yeah, it went bankrupt. Yeah. yeah. So what is, is the Plaza Hotel still being used? Is oh, yeah. It open? Oh, yeah. But they, they've, they've sold part of it as condos. Oh. As condo units. It's still run, being run as a hotel as well. But uh, there are people who actually have homes there. Because I remember the last time I was in New York, I walked by there, and, and it looked like it was all boarded up on the floors. You know, no, down up the front. I think what you saw is they were re-fixing the front of it. Like, oh, okay. if you came and looked at our apartment house here, you'd see the same thing, because they're doing the pointing and fixing all the bricks and stuff, and it's about a two-year job. And we've yeah. had this, you know, all this scaffolding and everything up around the building. It looks like that. Can't you open the window and push the scaffolding over where the guys are on it? Well, you see, I also believe that the plaza is a brick building, if I'm not mistaken. Anybody want to correct me on that mm -hmm. one? Yeah, sure. And if it's a brick building, they have to every 30 years, 40 years, to point it. And what pointing yeah. is, is you go in, you scrape out all the loose uh, mortar, mortar around mortar. the bricks and put in new mortar. And that's a, you know, on a building like ours, for instance, it's a couple of year job. Time consuming. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, you look at the plaza and I'm sure it was up there and it looked like it was probably closed or something or they were working on it, but that's probably what they were doing. I wonder if the, the dust in the old mortar is causing your allergies. Oh, it's causing a lot. I went into my uh, uh, guest room and there was a layer of it isn't even dust it's almost a a, a, a layer of of, of, uh, of dirt no. of dirt no. uh that has been caused by that yeah absolutely well mortar mortar uh, cement has lye in it oh really limestone too limestone, and limestone too right yeah those are i would think those would be very irritating in well the i'll tell you uh they the um I have a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, uh, air purifier. And it has a circle that's lit up, and it's blue when everything's fine. As it changes then to green when it's not so good, and then to orange, and ultimately to red when it's really bad. And for a couple mm. of days that they were out there doing a lot of the chipping around my windows and stuff, that thing was red. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure that has a lot to do with it. I think, I don't think it's healthy. And, um, but then again, what's, what's more unhealthy, that or having bricks fall out of the building because they, the building's falling apart, you know. So they but the trouble is every morning I wake up to them chipping away, you know, bam, 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 and then the drill happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there are pieces. That's a real sound that it makes? Yeah, they're chunks. Yeah. There are chunks of our of our building missing because they've taken them out, and I guess they're taking them out to fix them or something like that. Well, sometimes if you take if you tuck point a wall, mm -hmm. you take out the old mortar, the bricks have nothing left, so right. they have to take the bricks out and then right. remortar them back in. Absolutely. Place. Well, there's, outside our building, over on the side of the building, there out in the street, there like pallets of bricks. Yep. For these people, I guess, to take up with them and put new bricks in where the old bricks were, like, in bad shape and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But pointing is this something they have to do, you know, every, I don't know, how many you're years. You're getting your money's worth for the rent you're paying. Yeah, well, let's not get into that. Okay. <laughs> sore point. Story. Very sore point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bad advice from by the way, I watched your Monday uh, pop-up, and it was interesting that uh, Mr. Deutsch talking about an invoice that he had that Donald Trump hadn't paid and wondering if that was worth something on eBay. <laughs> I it's actually maybe a real, you know, I, I, I think that Andrew might, probably was joking, but that thing might be worth something. Yeah, I think he was joking, however. <clears throat> I heard that, too. <laughs> 
to and listen to the Andrew's show. Andrew's a very funny guy. He, he is. is. Yeah. He posts some fun yeah, stuff. Very too. quick. Very yeah. quick. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. Morally, it's wrong, but public health-wise, $100 works. Uh, then payment for vaccinations is justifiable to reduce disease. We blow the money on much worse. That's Forbin Colossus. What do you think? Do you think that you know we do spend money on worse than than bribing people to go get a shot? Oh heck yeah! Yeah, people spend money to vote on Trump. Yeah, that would, that's worse. But uh, you know, I just think that if people don't want to get shots. At this point, they can get very sick. That's their choice. And if they get sick, don't don't start on your deathbed saying, "Can you give me the shot?" You know. Because yeah. I'm sorry, it's too late. Friends don't let Please friends vote Republican. <clears throat> yeah, well, it isn't, you know, I don't no. know. Is it just Republicans? I mean, the, the you know, the Democrats have got their problems, too. I mean, you know. Yeah, but Democrats at least want to attempt to govern. Republicans right. have lost all interest in governing at all. They don't they just care about the bullies. society. Well, here, here, they don't care about society as a whole. All they care about is their own power. Here's what yep. I don't get. Where are the Republicans who disagree with all this and who want to say, hey, you know, like Liz Cheney, is there only, only is two Liz of them. Cheney? The Adam Kins is your friend, <laughs> Liz Cheney. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, are you what that? What about the guy in, from Utah? What's are, his name? are you that in locks? Romney. 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 Yeah, but he's yeah. a senator. He's not a congressman. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, but my question is, are they that in lockstep that some of them can't say, hey, you know, I don't feel real comfortable with this? Well, the yeah. last person that did that was Cheney, and look what happened to her. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think more people... She just people... lost a leadership position. You know, it's no big deal. Yeah, but she may lose her... Her, uh, her job. Job, because... I don't really think so. Well, her... I think she's very popular in her state. Well, where she... Yeah, up to a point where she was elected they voted for trump in the election and uh so she's got to overcome that uh where's she from somewhere in the midwest right wyoming i think yeah Yeah. that's midwest to me yeah wyoming's very republican very heavy republican Hmm? what i don't get is what are the republicans so scared of trump i mean you know he he backed like that governor that ran for the governor of uh kansas Mm -hmm. Coburn or whatever, Cobain, whatever his name was, mm-hmm. and, and a Democrat won. Then he he backed uh, a, a lot of a lot of these crazy people, mm-hmm. and, and the uh, you know the the um, Republicans ended up losing their seats. He voted for Roy, he backed Roy Moore for yeah, Senate Roy Moore, in Alabama yeah. and lost oh, to that's a Democrat. Right. <laughs> that's right, Roy, Roy Moore. Boy, what a guy with a skeleton in his. Mr. Pedophile. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. What, what 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 is I didn't I didn't see it, but I hear that the uh, the, the whole thing the something. whole thing with Gates and uh, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie uh, Moore, uh, Marjorie what's her name? Marjorie Green. Trader Green. The Trader yeah. Green. Um, <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Green uh, were out doing something, and some people started protesting against yeah. them, and it got so loud and vociferous. That they both ran away. Yeah, yeah. they were trying to have a presser outside the Congress after the 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 uh, select committee had had their hearing. And weren't they holding a sign behind him saying "pedophile"? Yeah, yeah, yeah pedophile for Trump. He is going after this Marjorie Taylor Green is going after some small business owner because he has ordered his employees to get COVID shots, and a couple of them, I guess, got mild cases of COVID after they were infected, uh, uh, injected, but, but okay, that's the, the breakthrough thing, but now... No, it isn't, uh, that isn't even breakthrough. That sometimes people, after they get, especially the second shot, come no, down no, no, with a little talking, touch of it. A we're talking about weeks or months later, but it doesn't, that, that's not my, my point. My point was, she's going after this guy because now he's telling people He's they're in Georgia together. He's telling people in order to come in, you got to prove that you're vaccinated. And she says next they're gonna. She says next they want to make. Is he going to ask for vaccination proof on hepatitis, mono, 
you know, and, you know, on and on and on. And I'm like, yeah, see this yeah, job. Do yeah, do I it. Mean, I think most rocks are smarter than this cunt. If if she if I had a restaurant or something and she came into it, I'd want to I wanted to uh, see if she had crabs. Well, you know, <laughs> well, what's, that's what's one of the things she brought up. Actually, well, Johnny well, probably it, saw it. It, 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 it's, yeah. it's interesting. She wanted to make sure that you know this guy checked for everybody yeah. for crabs. It, it's steak. interesting that Phil last night said that he had one person who works for him who didn't want to get vaccinated and he told him I want you vaccinated because right. you're going into people's homes and I want to protect my my customers Absolutely. and so the guy he in spite of the fact that he was adamantly against it went out and got the got the shot uh, and I think that's a very good reason to want one of your employees to get a shot that the customers don't get infected by your your lack of a thought. lot of businesses in the past couple of weeks are demanding it in California now. Yeah, yeah. all over the show. country, not just California. Uh, all over. The so country. how does it look for Gavin Newsom? He's still I holding think, his own. Yeah, I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, I think so. They're, yeah, they're going to hold. A, I'm working at one of his, uh, like a fundraiser party at the Warfield um, next month. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you should have got a room there, John, as much as you're there. You know the number one Republican is. Right around the corner you know who the, the number one Republican is right now in the polls. Who? Uh, in that. Uh, what's Caitlin? It? Huh? Caitlin? No, no. The talk show host. Uh, Larry Elder. Larry Elder. Yeah. He's number no. two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's well. I mean, he's the number one Republican right now. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. I don't according so. according to the latest uh, research. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, and he's also number one in in getting to be in the Radio Hall of Fame. So, uh, you know, I'd say I did vote for you tonight, uh, Alex. Did you really? Way. Okay. Yeah, twelve times. Yeah, really. I got to go back and do a couple yeah. more too. You, yeah, you, you had twelve different. <clears throat> twelve. I different. had twelve different emails, so I voted oh, for okay. you on all the, all of my emails. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> okay, well, everybody, you know, uh, if you have a couple of emails, do it all on those different emails. You can you can vote. You can only vote once per email, right? Address, but you don't have to. Yeah, if you've got, do you have that many? I've yeah. got twelve. You yeah. got twelve. Oh, okay. That's well, just when on, somebody was talking about that's it. That's just on night. Gmail. That's just on Gmail. That, that's I think it was Brian. It was Brian who said he had seven. Right. Oh no, Kevin. Well, got, Kevin. Kevin. I have a bunch of them too, and I didn't realize that you could do that. But yeah. I'm going to do that. Well, yeah. I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. Nope. I'm Put not in. encouraging you, but I'm not discouraging you. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, there's the theme song, folks. It's time to go. Thank God. I almost didn't do a show tonight. I was so depressed tonight that I, you know. Why? You know, I went out. This is quick. I went out and, and took a walk up to the park because it was at night because I just, you know, I couldn't. I was so upset by my lawyer today. And guess what? I was out there. Fireflies. Wow. And basically, in my, cute. their butts light up. I grew up in California. We don't have fireflies out so, there. No. I never seen but a firefly in my life. There are fireflies in the park. Come see our park. Cool. They're in the park. Okay. We've, had, we've had them here in Kentucky for the last two months. Really? Really? Yeah. They're not native to Kentucky? I don't know. No, right. Anyway, hey, hey listen, Steve. I got to go. Uh, 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 so, Trucker Steve, yeah. get one of these for when you, um, you can... You can uh, Practice your guitar when you do your dialysis. Oh yeah, like everybody's going to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Vernon. And it's a little three watt, three amp uh, little uh, thing that runs on batteries. It sounds great. It's yeah. called a. Okay, Black I gotta Star. go. Okay. Yeah, Black it's Star, like the old pig through. amps. Yeah, thank you, Trucker Steve. Good to see you. And glad to see you feeling better. Uh, also, uh, thank you, uh, John Larkin. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, uh, Tony. And thanks to uh, Alan for being with us tonight. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, all right. Uh, just going to say to you that uh, uh, um, uh, we have uh, the uh, intersection coming up next with Jack Bishop, and then uh, uh, he'll be doing it on Skype. With Gabnet Live being the address you 
get a hold of. Okay? That's it. That's it for tonight. I'll see you again tomorrow night uh, if I don't get completely depressed. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And uh, by the way, if you haven't been vaccinated, why the fuck not, okay? Do something about it.